Hello my friends all over the world. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. In my search for a juice formula that will feed the spine, I've come up with several different formula. Let's take a look at today's formula. Here are the ingredients to today's juice. The tops from three beets, collard greens, French sorrel underneath here, some celery, a um, yellow squash, some zucchini, garlic, and ginger. In addition to that, I have one large beet and about 80% carrots. Let's make some juice. The first thing I'm going to do is put in three ice cubes to cool down my cutter and my feed tube. We'll start with some celery. point out that I'm using the new Whole Health Foundation maple pusher that's tapered at the end so there's no possibility of it getting over swollen and sticking. So let's continue this time with some beet tops. Celery and beet tops are very very fibrous. I'm going to juice the collard greens. Remember to check your wing nuts and also clean your grid frequently. Now we just did celery and ginger, which are both very fibrous, and beet tops, so we want to get this grid clean. Let's juice some more collard greens. All of these came from my organic garden. Now I've just quartered one of the large beets. We'll do that next. We'll take the bowl. Okay, I'm done with the collard greens, so I'm going to do the French sorrel next, but clean the grid first. Now, French sorrel is excellent for your health. It cleanses every gland in your body, and it also makes your juice taste sweet, so it has a double purpose. French sorrel is my favorite green vegetable. Now I'm down to the last of my greens, the last of the French sorrel. Check your wing nuts. Now before I start my carrots, I want to point out that I'm very happy with the new maple wooden pusher that we have exclusively made at Whole, Whole Health Foundation. It has a tapered end, so even if you overstuff the feed tube, this is not going to create an impediment. It'll still work very, very well. So let's go to the carrots now. And if you have small carrots like I do, you can reverse them. 
Typically you put the large end in first, but I can put two carrots in, save a little time that way. Now I'm going to switch to the number two grid, which is typically better for carrots. You get a finer uh, grind that way. Clean the juicing grid or the J grid that has 3 16th inch holes. I'm going to set that aside to clean it later. And next we're going to do the carrots. Yeah, let's put in three ice cubes and then do the rest of the carrots. I'm done with my carrots and I want to point out a little tip at the end. There's always a little plug of carrot in here, so put some pulp in and force that last plug of produce through. So the next step is to remove the grid, clean the carrot off, remove the feed tube, clean it, reassemble, then Mix your produce and start Next, cutting. I'm going to mix my ingredients. Rotate the bowl, and I found rotating it in both directions gives a better mix. So this time the bowl will go clockwise, and then we'll go counterclockwise. And then the other direction. Now when I was juicing last time, I noticed my claws started squirting, so I'm starting out with a new set of cleaned cloths and we're going to fill these with pulp and start juicing. We'll get a collection bowl, put the tray in here, and three medium spoons in each cloth. And I'm going to show you again my less work six cloth method. Pull this over, flatten it, it's very important to flatten it. Pull it into as tight a package as you can. Pull this in and watch my folding technique with my fingers. I'm going to fold this under and set it aside. I'm going to press two cloths full of pulp at once because you get better pressure that way. So all the way over, flatten it. As tight a package as you can get, flatten it. Pull it into a tight package. Now this is going to go into the juicing tray and while I'm pressing I'm going to get more cloths full of pulp going. Centered in the tray. Now all the way back and I'm going to back it off because I'm not wanting to get distracted. And I'm going to point out again on the whole health foundation premium juicer you have a solid bottom plate that enables you to press this for longer than a minute if need be. So we'll start pressing and fill more cloths with pulp. Now my six cloth method, this goes forward, this goes over, the spent pulp goes on top, this goes in the juice tray. Centered, all the way back, back it off a little. Now here's the less work six cloth method. You do not throw this away. You put new pulp on top of the old pulp. In the beginning you put two spoons full. Toward the end you'll put only one because this patty is getting thicker and thicker as we go into the process. So, the crease back here, pull it into a tight package, the tighter the better. That's about the perfect size right there. Advance a little bit. And we're down to our last, so we're going to advance it all the way. Now as I'm filling my last cloth, I'm noticing my bowl is almost full, so I'm not going to advance this. I'm going to back it off. I'm not going to press the rest of the pulp out of this. I'm going to set it back. About five and a quarter bottles with one full container of juice. And let's go back and make more juice. I'm going to pull this forward and press it all the way this time. Get the rest of the juice out of that as we fill. 
wine cloths full of pulp. Pour it into a tight package, flatten that, fold it into as tight a package as possible, set it aside. We're down to our last plot, but we've already advanced that. Again, two, maybe not quite two, spoons full of pulp. One and a half spoons full this time. It's getting thicker and thicker, this patty. Now I'm more than halfway through my pulp and I've noticed my patty is getting rather thick so I'm only going to put one spoon of pulp in here. I don't want my patty to get too large. In fact, it's better to be a little bit smaller. The largest you want your claws to be is 14 and a half inches square. Any larger than that will tempt you to put in too much produce. Advance that a little bit. One spoonful of pulp. Pull this over into a tight package. Advance it all the way. When you're down to your last cloth, advance it all the way. Pull this forward, this goes over. And your spent cloths go here. This goes in the press. Center. All the way back. Back it off a little bit. Now, as I said, these patties are getting very, very thick, so we're only putting one spoonful of pulp in here toward the end. Pull that into a tight package. I'm down to the last of my pulp, and I want to point out that toward the end, you use one spoonful on top of the old pulp, and what I'm striving for, I'm pulling this in, what I'm striving for is a thin, thick patty, not a wide, full patty. Now let me pull this into as tight a package as I can. Flatten that down. That is about the maximum size you want. I'm going to pull this forward. And you'll notice that under pressure, the claws full of pulp get wider. And this is very unsatisfactory. So what I'm going to do is repackage that. almost don't fit in the press. Center, all the way, back it off a little bit. And we've got maybe one more spoonful of pulp to put in here. And we're done. And then I'm going to show you another little trick to get even more juice out of your spent pulp. Now I want to point out under hydraulic pressure how I press this way wide. This is very unsatisfactory. I've already taken one package and repackaged it to be a thick ball. This is much better. We're going to set that aside. And while this is pressing, I'm going to take this and repackage it, pull it into a tight ball. I want it to be tight and thin, thick and thin. So we'll pull that into a nice tight package. you to watch my folding technique. I'm going to take the ends and I'm going to fold them under like so to minimize the cloths coming apart. Flatten this. That's much better. Set that aside. Bring this over. And uh, we're going to repackage these last two. That's much too wide. Very unsatisfactory. We'll put these in the press, all the way back, back it off a little bit, and we're going to repackage that. No more pulp. We're just going to reform the spent pulp into a tight ball, a thin, thick ball. I've repackaged all of my spent cloths full of pulp, rolled them into a ball, a narrower, tighter package. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure how much extra juice do we get from the spent pulp. So let's put this in here. And I want to point out again that on a Whole Health Foundation premium model juicer, you have a solid bottom plate. You can leave the press up for a minute or longer if you want to. All the way back, back it off a little bit, turn it on. 
we do not want this to go up too quickly. So as soon as you get a juice flow, back this off. There we go. We're going to back it off a little bit. And we're going to measure how much extra juice do we get by repackaging the spent pulp. Now, on a no lock juicer, you have a casting on the bottom plate. You could never leave it up this long. The solid plate is much stronger and has a lifetime warranty. We've already got eight and almost a half, eight and a half ounces from two cloths full. Let's put this aside, put the last cloth. Well, before I do that, let me turn this off because I have eight and a half ounces here. I'm going to pour that in the bowl, put the last cloth in the tray, centered, all the way back, back it off a little bit. My measuring cup wasn't big enough. There's another three and a third ounces. So almost 12 ounces more juice so far. Let's put one more of these on top, see if we can squeeze another ounce of juice out of this. All the way back, back it off a little bit. The whole health foundation premium model juicer is the best juicer of its kind on the planet. The only thing better is a commercial juicer that we also manufacture, but that's a $69,900 juicer meant for large quantity juice production. And that's it all the way. Oh my goodness, we're going to get another couple ounces out of this. See if you can squeeze another cloth on top of this. I don't think we're going to be able to get that in there. Oh, yes, we will. But we want to make sure the press tray is squarely on the plate. This is in there. All right, we'll advance it. When it starts flowing, we're going to advance it a little bit more. That's going to stuck the fire. Oh, but look at that quantity of juice we're getting out of that. We've got another seven ounces of juice out of the already pressed juice. The very last step for me is to top off the bottles. I got 17 bottles of juice. Now you might choose to fill your bottles to the top with 100% juice. For me, the juice is too rich that way, so I top it off with about 8% distilled water. There we have 17 bottles of juice with a spine health formula. Basically, a formula for your health is emphasizing an alkaline content. I hope you like what you've seen in this video, my friends. This is the 20th day of a long juice fast that I'm on to rejuvenate my body. The formula I had today emphasized French sorrel juice. And not only does French sorrel cleanse every gland in your body, it tends to sweeten up your juice. And that's very unusual for greens that are usually very bitter. If you'd like to contact me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developedrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.